Okay, morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Tuesday the 22nd of March. Um, oh, this, this nice weather just keeps going. It looks like it's going to stay with us pretty much for the rest of the week with variations um, each day. Uh, perhaps not quite so nice today in one or two places. Um, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, but what you've there uh, being drawn up uh, across flow, you can see the isobars are well spaced. Uh, so the wind certainly isn't strong today. Pressure about 1,025 over us, uh, somewhere around there at the moment. Uh, there's a little kink uh, developed in, in the latest chart here, and, and that's um, showing some showers. Um, over Wales, and you'll see that on the SAP pick. Uh, we'll talk about what they're going to do um, later on. On Rataf, fairly short key points. Um, there's obviously not brilliant first thing in the morning, but improving to 10k plus um, mid morning as, as you sort of get a little bit of mixing. I think it'll get better. If you're at four and a half thousand feet, you know, sort of some cumulus uh, seems to be looking at a sort of ascents and various other things further north than here. Uh, I think it'll be, uh, we'll see some cumulus, but not a great deal. And that'll be much, much later on during the day, I think. Uh, upper winds. The lower winds are 120, upper winds 130, but only about 10 knots. The BBC was suggesting five to seven knots, so fairly light. Um, Southeasterly uh, most of the day. Very little change in that. There's very little change tomorrow, really, by the looks of it. Uh, the sat pick, if I just play the animation, you'll, you'll see uh, the bits of fog disappearing here slowly but what you've got is is showers in and around here and in through the west country um, and i think as the temperature increases this afternoon there's a chance you'll see showers um, in the midlands area here birmingham around that area there but certainly not quite so far south as us it gets a bit warmer there just enough to trigger them uh, but it's still gonna be fairly warm for us uh, the bbc was suggesting these numbers around degrees around here um, 17 in london so this 18s and 19s tomorrow so from the south and then sort of playing with the soundings it, it's purely about temperature really uh, as soon as it gets um to a reasonable temperature it'll, it'll cause some mixing and i think around here we're probably going to see by mid to late afternoon, thermals going to about three and a half thousand feet. I think at, at best is what I can get out of the numbers. And, and there's quite a large spacing here um, between the two lines. So it doesn't really indicate that there's going to be cumulus uh, for us. And this is the actual ascent, which I think gives perhaps a little bit more indication that there may be cumulus later if the temperature gets up to in here and about 4,000 feet. So it's going to require 14 degrees just to break this little nose of inversion here. And then it slowly follows this line, line up here. If the lines come together enough just up here at about 4,500 feet. I think you could see cumulus. Far more chance, I think, in the, the Midlands where it just gets a little bit warmer. And that's then enough to trigger um, some showers by the looks of it. Top Meteo, they're showing cumulus around here. Oh, there is there is mid-level cloud lurking around as well, but I think that's going to burn off fairly quickly. Um, and then starting by sort of two o'clock showing showers in, in the Birmingham area. They're showing us blue here. And I can sort of understand why when you look at the ascents that uh, are predicted. So we may be lucky and see some cumulus if Farnborough are saying four and a, few at four and a half. 
and then those showers just staying in the, the Midlands region. So thermal heights. By 11 o'clock. They're suggesting there'll be some thermal mixing 600 metres and then going up to maybe 1, 1,200 metres further north of us, we're again affected by the element of, of sea air coming across here. So it may well be that we don't see much more than uh, 800 to 1,000 metres um, all day. Certainly to the south of us, I think it's going to be sea air influenced down here. So yeah, 3,000 feet is what top meteor was suggesting and you can see how it's it's broken out into showers uh, north of the oxford area okay so, so yeah, nice day light southeasterly winds uh, certainly soaring from uh, late morning midday onwards um, perhaps getting better uh, with chance of cumulus that way uh, but also a chance of showers their suggested distance that's the pawnee going off uh, we put that back in service now it's just being run in um, so their suggested distance is in the area further north of Lasham um, and that's not a surprise looking at the, the temperature profile and when we think there's going to be cumulus. Okay, so airspace wise, uh, one or two things going on. Uh, I think uh, really of, of great note, number 16's out of hours. Uh, 17, they just raised the height of the danger area up to 5,000 feet. Um, 22, 23, and 24 are of note. Uh, I'll just take you down here because I can't remember the exact timings on it. So temperate controlled airspace, uh, 11.15 to 12.21, and they raise the, the top of the airspace up to 5,000 feet. There's also parachuting at Bryce from 9 till um, 16. And there's temporary controlled airspace uh, linked to the, the raise in airspace of Bryes, which then is an airway heading out to the northwest. And that's 11.15 to 12.21. Uh, so that's really about it, folks, in the southern half of the country. Nothing much else going on. Um, now is where it gets fairly interesting in terms of operations. Uh, we had a couple of delays yesterday and cancellations, so uh, they've lumped them all into today. So jet movements first, and then I'll talk about how we can operate because of the jet movements. So in in time order, 737 outbound at 1010. That's got a flight plan to it. And then at 11 o'clock, there's a, an A319, an Airbus A319 outbound as well. And then... The next two are a 727 inbound at around 11 o'clock and then uh, another one going outbound at 1300. So they've got potentially four movements um, in the morning period. So they're going to be fairly busy um, with those and the timings will never run to where you think it's going to, to work for us. So what our plan is, we will set up a launch point, a winch launch point here, uh, just in front of the control tower. And we will run the cables across the field here with the winch. We can air a tow either from the runway, the fire, our fire truck will be on the runway if there's not a movement, uh, or we will be forced to air a tow from over here on the grass north side. Um, and then once the movements are done, we'll move back onto the runway and we'll probably have a fairly normal setup, gliders on the grass um, as it is here with the launch point vehicle just on the south side of the, the runway. 
and the wind will be positioned offset down here somewhere. The ground should be dry enough to tow the cables on the grass now. Uh, it's been fairly dry for six days and it's dried out really, really quickly. So folks, let's go and get the gliders out and we'll see you out there shortly.